Children of God, praise the Lord. People of grace, praise the Lord. Shall we make a joyful sound to God? You make a joyful sound to the Lord. Thank you so much for tuning in one more time. And this was a Mama Evelyn Joshua in yesterday Thanksgiving service in Squan, the 3rd of December, yesterday. And uh, you can see the glimmer, you can see the excitement, you can see the faith people came up in with. And different areas, different nations were represented in this Thanksgiving service and different other places. Now, I'm not reporting for Squan. But I am one person who has been in the blessed part of it in Squan. So this woman of God, if you check very closely how she comes in with the summer, there are things I want you to notice before I play you this day's service. I mean, this summer's service. What happens next? But before what happens next, I want you to notice some few things. Number one, humility, not just in the speech, but as much as working patience. This woman of God has paid the patience, price of the patience, that is long suffering. I mean, she has paid the price, prayed across the experiences, the challenges. So humility comes automatically when it comes to that level. The level Mama Evelyn has come into now, humility is not a question to debate in anymore. Number two thing you will notice, the confidence of faith of what God has done for her and for the entire Squan family, Emmanuel TV family. You can see it. You can see it in her faith, in her voice, in her speech, in her eyes, everywhere, every part of her. You can see that faith walking. Number three thing, the confidence of the original mission accomplishment. In short, I can value it like the TB Joshua legacy. The TB legacy, legacy is like it is all. A surety to the place it was to. I know we've all analyzed and seen a lot of uh, episodes. Prophet T.B. Joshua himself was speaking about. After him, the missions will continue. The vision will continue. The global grace will continue. Every other place. You have seen all this. You have walked all this into it. And you know that is what we have. Number four, you can notice the people who can value the calling upon her. The audience, let me use the word audience today, not congregation. I will use it at congregation also. The congregation, much of what has happened in this place is what has been dealing with the faith and working with the faith and directed by the faith and passionately standing by that same faith that the woman of God has believed in. We don't have to argue about it. That within the time of transition this woman paid enough price to be honored by the grace of Prophet T.B. Joshua and not just that. Every woman, every man that saw all that transition period you owe Squan entirely, and you owe Emmanuel TV team entirely. You owe the family of uh, the Squan family and the family of Prophet TB Joshua and uh, Mama Evelyn Joshua and the rest in the family. You owe them appreciation and grace to live by with thanksgiving. Now, this thanksgiving is more, more than just one person's experience is more than just a squad experience. It's more than just Emmanuel TV 
is more than just the foundation of squad. It's more than that. It's a global entrance of some movement of God's work that cannot be shut down. I want you to be very attentive while the address goes on. Because after this, you'll have a different mind and you'll have a different reason of why. I greet you all in the name of the Lord. Emmanuel. 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 God is with us. I welcome you to this celebration today. Because God Almighty is with us. I welcome you to this Thanksgiving service today. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Please do have your seat. The word of God in the book of Psalm 107 verse 1 says, Give thanks to God because he's good. His mercy endures forever. And so let us give thanks to God for the joy of life. That's a gratitude. Give thanks to God for the joy of life. Give thanks to God for the beautiful world in which he has placed us. You give thanks to God for the life of those he has given to you to spend your life journey with. Praise the Lord. Worship the Lord. Exalt his name because he alone is worthy of your thanksgiving. God alone is worthy of your praises. So today we have dedicated. Even though we praise him every other day. We thank him every other day. But today we have dedicated in this ministry to thank God in a special way. So I welcome you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Amen. On behalf of Scrum, the Synagogue Church of All Nations, and my humble self. I welcome everyone to the 2023 Thanksgiving service, being celebrated to honor and praise our Lord and Savior for his love, faithfulness, and grace in our lives as ministry. This time last year, we equally gathered to observe the first Thanksgiving service, and I cannot thank you all enough for remaining firmly and unshakably committed to the ministry. May God Almighty bless you all. We have a role of reminding ourselves the immortal word of our Father in the Lord, Prophet T.B. Joshua, that our spiritual work with God is essential and should be paramount in our hearts. Because the word of God in the book of Lamentation 3, verse 22 and 23 says, that the steadfast love of the Lord is new every morning. So we are new every morning. We are created to change our world. Between last year's Thanksgiving service and what we are doing today, we have every reason to express profound appreciation to the Lord and the King of Kings for strengthening our belief and trust in Him and empowering the ministry not to derail and assign functions to change our world. Of course, our central mission in this scrum, the synagogue church of all nations, is to change lives, change nations, and to change the world. I must keep expressing gratitude to the partners and members of this commission for our immaculate commitment and dedication to the pursuit of this mission. Let us collectively appreciate God and his touch of grace and love in our lives. Let us remind ourselves of the same of our commitment between last year and now. In March 2023, we were inspired by the Holy Spirit to organize a three days revival service which was held at our prayer mountain. It was not only well that attended, the Holy Spirit dutifully proved himself as demonstrated by many of testimonies of deliverance 
and healing in people's lives. Of course, the program shall be an annual event for our partners and members. Between the annual June 5th and 12th, 2023, we equally observe the second year anniversary of the call to glory of our founder and father in the Lord, Prophet T.B. Joshua, as well as his 60th posthumous birthday, which was colorfully achieved through a candlelight procession and people visitation to his mausoleum and museum, which attracted profound testimonies and revelations from those who attended all over the world. The elderly in the church who has not left out in our usual way of caring for them in cash and kind. The Spine Living Water Service was held on July 28, 2023, and its remarkable success through grace was seen in the thousands of people not limited to the partners and members whose attendance made the event last for two days of powerful testimonies of deliverance, healing, and salvation. God really proved himself as chains of failure, affliction, misfortune, limitations in progress, and nightmares were broken. Confession of God's mercy and favor, as well as breakthroughs, has still been sent to the ministry by people from all over the world. No less successful were the different crusades and prayer meetings held by the squan in different parts of the world, as it was before with our Father in the Lord, Prophet T.B. Joshua, a spiritual field marshal and an outstanding lover of men who touched millions of lives in every continent of the world. In April, we were in Spain. In August, we visited the nation of Zambia, while in October this year, it was the town of Kenya. Yes. In each of these events, as prayerfully endorsed by the Holy Spirit, exactly. satanic strongholds on people's destinies, finances, health, marriages, jobs, and relationships were broken. As we are told by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we gain soul for his name, as it was proved beyond doubt that Jesus lives forever. The events were accompanied by humble acts of charity and visitation to the less privileged, the poor, and the helpless in different society. Also, I wish to inform you all that our branches in Ghana and our current Nigeria are not left behind in the pursuit of our mission as a ministry. They are actively involved in mobilizing people to embrace Christ and Christianity. Within the last year also, we have had moments of significant meetings with the Squam visitors, coordinators from different countries as we continue to expand the size and populations of people earnestly seeking God's salvation, redemption, healing, and deliverance. In pursuit of philanthropic aid, the Squam had made charity donations in such places as Ukraine, Turkey, and Bosnia, while the long tree planting program in Kenya. Equally significant is that a number of developmental uplifting projects are taking place in our headquarters and branches as we receive more visitors in the ministry. Exactly. Our main media outlet and voice, the manual TV, keep widening out with new programs which reflect our expanding vision. It is ideal to note also that we do actively engage our youths in the ministry through different programs to make them conscious of their duty to God. The different groups in the ministry are actually living up to expectations and we are very proud of them. The Squam Brothers meeting, and the Good Women meeting, that is the Women of Grace meeting. In all of these, the most significant force responsible for our collective success is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who gave the vision. And that's exactly what we've been talking about. The Lord Jesus Christ, 
giving out the backup for everything that happens in time after time. I don't have much to say about this in this factor. And uh, I would really say thank you. If you have never subscribed for this channel, please subscribe before you leave. Like, comment, and share it to your friends. You help us and support us. God bless you.